Hi guys, welcome back to another split build in The Sims 4. I'm Kiko Beals and for today's video we are building a rundown or overgrown family home for the Parsons family household. A little story about this household. They are a family of four with Leighton being a single widowed dad struggling to make ends meet and takes care of his three kids he's a handyman and hopes to be able to renovate his house one day the firstborn is jimmy jimmy is a teenager who loves horses and was able to save up uh, from his part-time job um, some money to be able to rescue his very first horse and he dreams of one day be able to win competition with his horses the second child of the family and the only girl is Charlie. Charlie is a loner. She, she's the tech savvy of the family. She loves video game and programming and has the aspiration of becoming a computer with. Last but not least, we have little Luca. Luca is a cheerful little boy who loves music and plays piano all day long on the old family piano in the living room of this house. So let's hop in game and build our Parsons family their little rundown and overgrown family home. So now we're in game. First of all, you're seeing now that we are not in Willow Creek as you saw in the introduction video we are in strangerville uh, from the strangerville game pack um, first of all i wanted to build something in strangerville really i wanted to build a kind of a rundown family home in strangerville because i think the the environment the landscape and the surroundings are, are so perfect for this kind of home but um, as I continued building this and especially with the um, the greenery that I was placing all around in Strangerville everything is kind of orangey you know the canvas of Strangerville is like orange tones brown tones so I kind of matched started matching the greenery with that and I realized that it was too brownish and it didn't look kind of overgrown, but it looked dead, more like an abandoned house. And I really didn't like the vibe. So that's why I tried and um, placed it in Strangerville, not in Strangerville, but in Real Creek um, to see what it looked like. And I also run a little poll in my Instagram stories and to ask people what they preferred uh, with two pictures, one of the, the house in Strangerville and one of the house in um, in Willow Creek. And the majority, the vast majority preferred Willow Creek. Um, so yeah, I decided to, to go with Willow Creek. But I really, really do love Strangerville. I mean, I mean the scenery in Strangerville, the colors in Strangerville, everything is so, I really do love it. Um, but I might come back to this lot to one day be able to build maybe something run down also maybe an abandoned house I don't think it will be an abandoned house but something a little run down in Strangerville I think the 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 the, the world is so perfect for this kind of build I mean this part of the world because the other uh, neighborhood is um, do we have two neighborhoods? I think we have two neighborhoods with, except for the, the power plant, not the power plant, but the, la the lab. Um, but the, f the second neighborhood is just so beautiful as well and gorgeous, but it's a completely different vibe. Uh, but let's come back to this house here. So as you're seeing, I tried different um, colors for the walls. Um, and I settled on this one. Um, kind of a brown brown kind of uh, sidings from cats and dogs for the upstairs and for the downstairs we have kind of a concrete or cement walls um, or brick walls I played around a lot with the colors um, I think I didn't record all the trials and errors with the colors I wanted I wanted to add some more colors but I didn't I didn't find anything that was 
fitting the vibe that i wanted for this house especially because we were in strangerville here actually maybe i should have tried some more color combinations in real crete but i like how the house turned out now you're seeing me placing all the greenery um the, the overgrown uh, weed and the grass and also the kind of uh, dry dry weed <laughs> and dry grass um, that I'm placing everywhere I even placed a, a dead tree in the middle there and and yeah and as i was telling you at the beginning it looks more like an abandoned house i really didn't it wasn't the vibe that that i was going for um with this house initially i also don't get me wrong i really like this style as well but it wasn't the style that i was going for uh for this house because it was really i really wanted it to be even though it was supposed to be an overgrown and run down um I really wanted it to be cozy as well and to be reflective of a happy little family that lives inside so that's why I thought it wasn't I didn't want it to look too to to kind of abandoned or to yeah I, I think you see what I mean <laughs> so um, I'm placing some plants also of course we need to have um, ivies and, and and plants growing on the walls uh, as i told you the single see he's a single dad Leighton, and he doesn't have much time on his hand to take care of his home um it's a family home that's been in the family for maybe four decades maybe half a century probably and um he is widowed so he only has his um his handyman job to be able to take care of his family and his home and yeah so it doesn't have much time to be able to renovate the house but one day maybe or maybe one of you will um download this house play with it and play also with the family and renovate it bit by bit and that would be very cool um if you do please tag me tell me about it uh on instagram or even on here on youtube but it will be i will be very very happy um, and as you saw, I placed, uh, I placed also a little mm -hmm, garage on the side. That's what I love with those kind of shabby, a little old houses. Um, I, this brings out the rustic of the house as well. This, um, this old garage here on the side that is detached from the home, and also the walls. The walls of this garage are our metal sheet. So. I, I really love this kind of builds that are very rustic and authentic kind of look really really lived in um, yeah <laughs> now we are inside of the house and uh, I looked for walls that were dirty um, and in game we have I think the only selection of dirty walls that we have in the game are from um, city living and that's what I, I put here uh, so upstairs we have a different kind of wallpaper from downstairs and they are both from city living uh, I also went and looked for all the stains um, in in the decal or yeah decal menu of the of the decoration in the decal category of the decorations and all those wall stains or rip wallpaper uh, kind of decals that we find in game um in the build mode and i placed some all around the place everywhere and i was i was uh, very pleased to see that there were zero dollars and it made zero simoleons <laughs> and it makes so much sense because i was wondering i hope they don't cost any money because it's like you have an old house that is dirty and everything so you shouldn't be able to you sh shouldn't have to pay for this and also the cracks on the walls as you could see i placed a lot of cracks on the walls everywhere uh, especially outside i don't think i placed any on the walls inside but some on the floors um i did um but yeah i was pleased to see that all those things that make a house look um old and cracked and not well kept uh, they were and they are free <laughs> so yeah 
don't mind all the noise in the background i don't know i think you can hear everything but we have um a neighbor who is who is working on their roof uh, just next to just next to my house and also you can hear roosters in the background i don't know if you can but yeah sorry in advance if you can so now we are in the kitchen and also as you can see i'm placing also the 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 counters and also the um, um what's the name of this the counters and the cupboards yes anyways i can't remember sometimes i try I, I don't know maybe it's brain, brain freeze but i have a hard time remembering some words in english sometimes and in french as well that is very weird but yeah anyway so the counters are from city living as well we have uh, all those old kind of fridge and i mean kitchen appliances and also the counters and um, the cabinets that's what the word that's the word i was looking for the cabinets also they look they look um shabby and old and very worn and that's what i placed here i also took the opportunity to place in the in this kitchen the um, the backsplash that came with the love struck expansion pack so they are little wall decorations that you can use as backsplash and i really really loved it um the color scheme for the kitchen i made it a little hmm, orangey a little cheerful if you may <laughs> a little orangey also with the linoleum, linoleum flooring that we have in the kitchen that is kind of orange uh, but now you are seeing the living room and uh, I placed down everything from the basement treasures um, yeah the breast milk treasures kit uh, that is all you're seeing uh, me placing here the boxes the table the coffee table the tv the accent uh, quotes and quotes action table that is really a very very old tv that is underneath the tv there um the couch and also the armchair i love these and i don't think i have ever used them in a build before um yeah and i really wanted also the furniture to look a little mismatch as well because as you can you know our little family doesn't have much money so um they are old furniture and kind of mismatched maybe some that they found when their old furniture broke or maybe i don't know but you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah i really really enjoyed uh building this house and uh, i love building houses and builds with a lot of character like this one here i really do um now you're seeing the living room part of the kitchen the dining room part of the kitchen i also placed those uh pictures on the walls that came with the basement treasures um and i really like them i never used this and so i was kind of discovering this basement treasures um uh kit as well uh so now placing some clutter in the kitchen here and there to make it look lived in as i usually do some clutter on the counters and using the counters as the wet, wet shelf mod uh, that you've seen me using here and there using the counters as kind of a placeholder or height holder and so that i can place the um the clutter where they need to go on the counter but so that they don't take actually take up space on the counter so they won't block your sims for being able to use the counter and and cook their food uh as you're seeing i love these little roll decorations where you can see the the ripped wallpaper the ripped off wallpaper and you can see the apparent brink brick underneath i really really love these they bring bring out so much character in a build and i really do love it so i gave them the bare minimum for a household um like this like they have their little appliances like who look a little run down and very worn uh like um the the stove the fridge and they have a small coffee maker and also um a small 
mm, microwave oven and i think all of these are kind of the cheapest ones in the game uh, actually now you're seeing the first bathroom because we have two bathrooms in this house um in this house we have two bathrooms we have one downstairs one upstairs with a uh a uh, shower tub combo and we also have three bedrooms um but we'll see this a little later on so in this bathroom i only placed a uh, a shower just a shower and i didn't place a tub that's what i mean i did place a shower here and a lot of dirt i mean stain on the walls and stain on the floors as well um even though the house is not dirty to me the house is not dirty it's just like it's a very very old house so you have stains on the walls uh because um it's natural to have walls getting stained over the years and if they don't they never redid the painting of the walls i mean they didn't repaint the walls over the years of course you will end up with um a lot of marks and stains on the walls so now i came back outside and decided to get rid of some of the, the greenery that wasn't or that weren't very green they were a little too yellow and brownish for me um as i explained to you i wanted the house to look a little a little greener so that's why i came back here and i also changed the um the roofing for for the house uh, originally i placed the roofing with the moss growing on them uh, the roof cover with the moss growing on them and the one that i kept on the garage um they i really do love them they are very cool i think they come with the werewolves pack um but i decided that it looked the, la the house looked very much too much run down to one down um and i had to change at least the roof cover on the house the main part of the house so maybe at one point they were able and they had to really change the roofs because you have to do something that you have to do at some point on the house because you have leaks and things like that so you have to change the roof of your house if if it's at some point if it's a whole old house but they didn't uh, bother doing the garage because they just did some fixes fixes here and there over the years but they kept the original roof on the garage so that's why why we still have moss on the garage um on the garage roof <laughs> so now you're seeing me placing more uh more things oh, you just saw me place more greenery outside um and also the garage the interior I went and placed um, the host bed as well so as I told you we have our little Jimmy who loves horses and I think when I was building this I started because as I explain in some of my videos something that I like to do for many of my builds is I like to create a household and they actually inspire me to build the house and to personalize the house for them because I love a house to be very personalized um, and have character so I think at one point I created the household and um, and there was little Jimmy who loves horses so that's why I decided oh I will place a horse bed and he will have a horse and things like that so yeah um, now you were seeing me placing the what's the name of that the radiators yes the heat heaters all the radiators um, I don't know if you call them radiators really but yeah anyways <laughs> I place them everywhere in every single room I love them it's the ones with the cheap chipped paintings um, chip, chipped paint <laughs> on them um, and I place them everywhere I think they come with the four rent expansion pack these ones we also have some um, heaters radi radiators coming with the vampires game pack as well but those ones came with the four rent expansion pack uh, yeah so what was i saying yes because of course uh this family doesn't have central heating so uh we don't have you know the little 
button that comes with seasons i didn't place a little button that comes with seasons it's a very old house oh and i forgot i'm actually i'm actually uh realizing that i forgot to place a proper fireplace because this is a whole old house and we obviously have a fireplace in those kind of houses and i also placed a chimney in this house so i just i'm just realizing i didn't place a fireplace i i forgot um but yeah placing more here and there and uh, of course you're using the entryway with the um, closet and uh so some glitter here and there in the closet in the in the entryway also i placed in the living room as you could see the the piano i really do love this little, this little piano here i think it came with i'm not sure if it came with full rent or growing together but yeah now you're seeing the bedroom for our little charlie here she's a loner and that's why she placed all those stickers like on the door like keep out um no entering this is the forbidden zone <laughs> so she's the loner of the family as i told you she is also way into um video gaming and programming so i had to give her a little desk here and a computer for her to 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 play and also to program and also i loved um this is the pack that i really love for teenagers is uh, the high school years pack of course obviously because we have all the clutter we need to personalize and a bedroom for a teenager <laughs> i love this and so of course her bed has to me it's kind of a bed for someone who loves the bed cover i mean it's a bed cover who loves uh, for someone who loves tech so who loves gaming uh also the walls the wall decorations that i placed above the bed as well everything screams teenager who loves gaming and who is kind of a loner as well maybe i don't know i think so um and i really love how her little bedroom turned out here a little messy i love the mess uh that we have on the on the floor there uh this also comes from the high school years i think this the high school years back is one of my favorite uh in terms of uh decorations and furnishing i really do love it also the wall um not the wall but the, um, the curtains that i place here are also from the high school years and uh, a lot of mismatch you will see in this house because uh yeah it's a kind of um kind of um a little modest people who don't have that much money so a lot of mismatched furniture um also as you can see the the the, the curtains don't match much in the room <laughs> also the you know the wallpaper the curtains the bed cover and things like that oh actually i tried to match the curtains with the with the rug <laughs> this is the rug that comes with four rent and the wall the wall curtains come from um uh high school years that i told you and also placed a little mirror in her bedroom that came with the high school years expansion pack and now you're seeing outside again but we changed world actually and we are in real creek finally and uh yeah i placed some lighting for exterior lighting and uh, what did i place more oh i'm placing here a, a little chest table maybe i place some things at the back in the backyard of the house when i arrived in willow creek um uh yeah some plants here and there as you can see what else did i place and yeah i think it looks better objective is it objectively looks better in willow creek um i mean better with what i wanted to do with this house um yeah now i'm seeing the boys bedroom so uh we have three bedrooms and the boys sleep together so the girl has her own bedroom and the boys sleep together um we have a loft bed for little luca who is the the, the youngest of the family and of course uh we have a bed for the teenage boy i think i tried to place the bed with the horse cover but it looked a little too childish 
for a teenager to me he's a teenager who is around 17 and i feel it looked a little too childish for him even though he loves horses but yeah it was a bit too young for him um but placing some clutter some um some games i don't know why i placed this little box with the tools here but yeah <laughs> i think some clutter uh for the boys here in the bedroom um i also love the wallpapers that i used in this bedroom for um for the for jimmy's side of the room i mean the teenage boy um and yeah the main color scheme in this bedroom is kind of blue as you can see with the wallpaper and also the the rug here i don't remember what they came they came from what where this rug comes from in terms of pack but uh yeah i'm not looking for the best one you know the the best ones here in this house that's that's the uh what I'm, I'm i'm aiming at i'm not looking for the best one the ones that look expensive i'm looking for the ones that look uh the cheapest uh in terms of furniture and decoration kind of uh but i love the wall decoration that i placed there uh, above jimmy's bed this big wall decoration with a horse um yeah now we are in dad's bedroom layton's bedroom as I told you, he is a widow. Uh, I don't know when his wife died, but sometimes after after um, Luca's birth. Um, but he still has the you know the marital bedroom, the parents' bedroom. It's the largest bedroom with kind of an um, a walk-in closet on the side and uh this bed comes from the horse ranch back and i love love this uh kind of worn uh rug that i placed underneath the bed it's uh it looks very old it looks like um um a rug that's been in the family for ages and ages and it comes from um get famous yes so now you're seeing me kind of arranging the, his little spot walking closet spot it's not really a closet because now you as you will see it's not completely closed i just placed a curtain in front of these dresses and uh, yeah he also has um a very old and cracked mirror in his bedroom that comes from the base basement treasures and also the armchairs and basement treasures uh, a lot of things for the basement treasures here and there uh in this house but the curtains here are from um dream home decorator these are very beautiful curtains but i i think they they fit with um with with the, the the vibe of the bedroom i think the kind of the color that i chose the swatch that i chose i think they fit with uh the vibe that i was going for with this bedroom here uh laden's bedroom so now we are in the second uh bathroom with the stains on the floor once again and the shower bathtub combo this is the main bedroom i mean yeah kind of the main bathroom i mean kind of the main bathroom it's it's just uh it, it's uh, identical in terms of flooring and wall tiles identical to the bathroom that is downstairs but we have a tub instead of a shower um just decorating a little the landing here i didn't really know what to place here just so i placed this little um this very small uh roan worn uh rug in front of the accent table that is kind of a um, storage spot and also this beautiful beautiful mirror that came with um um werewolves i love it absolutely love it um i think we are almost finished for the interior placing some uh pictures on the walls here and there and i think we yes we're done with the house um going back to the backyard and also the interior of the garage placing some more items to decorate it and make it uh look lived in some kind of some um items for 
um, for I was say, going to say landscaping, but it's not for gardening and taking care of the animals or the animal here, which is a single girl, a single horse. Um, yeah, and I think we are almost at the end of this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more in the future. Uh, the house and the household will be available on the gallery under my ID Kiko underscore bills as usual. And um, the household will be available on the gallery. Uh, under my ID Kikwa underscore builds. We are also, I'm also placing um, the tray files in the description box. So if you want, you can just click and grab the tray file to place the house directly in your game. So hope to see you next time for the next video guys. And in the meantime, take care, bye.